you might have noticed that we are wearing some new shirts lately. You want to check them out? Thank you guys for indulging us in our little fun with our t-shirts. We hope you enjoy them. I know we promised them since probably last November, December, and finally got around to putting that store together. Our store's through Teespring, and we do have uh, the link down in the description. Or if you just want to type it into a browser, it's whitehouseonthehill.store. Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll have lots of good designs coming soon, like even this one. I didn't make it into that little promo so also if you guys help give us any t-shirt ideas that we actually use in our store uh, we will try to get you one of those t-shirts and one of them the i'm a chick magnet shirt actually came from one of our viewers my lani uh, so i will be in contact with you to get you one of those shirts all right we're over at the mega garden checking on everything I brought some tomato cages that I had out in the barn and finished up some of the tomatoes and just pulling up some of these cans that I nothing's growing in so we'll put the cans away for next year and we got some humongous pumpkins coming along good size pumpkins so far I guess it's just mm. a medium size I don't it's not huge but it's big for us yeah. we've never grown anything that big that's awesome getting some summer squash should we pick these smaller summer squashes? I wouldn't mess with the small one. There's got to be a couple bigger ones in here. I'll move back. I think it's the small summer squashes so far. There's a big one right here. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Look at that thing. Woo! We got tons of pumpkins. Look at all the little guys. Look at this. Stand up next to the corn, Becky. Becky's as tall. That corn is as tall as you. So it's like six feet tall, right? Seven foot, right? You coming to help us pick the vegetables? Hey. And if you haven't been following our mega garden journey, this is over at Becky's parents' house. So it's about maybe five miles away from us. The ball of zucchini. Looks like a pumpkin though. So crazy. I'm sure it's a ball of zucchini. Well, that's it for that garden. Only vegetable that's really ready right now is the summer squash, so. Excited to see some more produce come out of this. strawberries at the store so I bought a ton and I'm gonna make us some strawberry jelly strawberry preserves we go through the strawberry jelly like crazy in this house they the boys love their peanut butter and jelly so instead of having to buy a ton this year I wanted to get ahead and make my own that way I can regulate the sugar in and stuff and know that it's good stuff instead of a bunch of preserves and stuff in there. So that's what we're doing today. For every cup you do of strawberries, you do a cup of sugar. So I'm just measuring it out. I'm pretty cutting it up just so it's a little bit easier. I don't have to do it once it's been cooked a little bit so it's all smooth. Mmm, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? All right, time to put in jars. So you can see I, I broke one jar. I don't know if it had a chip in it or what, but it, it busted. So all my 
I lost one jar of jelly. Is that not the most annoying sound in the world that this chicken is making right now? That is bananas. We had to pull her out of the coop because we keep thinking Uriah, our youngest boy, we keep thinking he's crying or something out here because we hear this chicken just screaming. All day long, every day for the last week or something. Maybe longer than that. Do you guys have any ideas for why this chicken would make this kind of noise and is there any resolution other than getting rid of this bird because we love having well summers around but if she's gonna scream like that all the time she's gone speaking of gone check out our chicken run it is totally empty over the past week or two we had 22 chickens in here and you might remember, we had a couple turkeys. Good grief, chicken. So we were able to find buyers for our turkeys. Goodness, hush. So we were able to find buyers for our turkeys, for our 22 chickens. So that takes our flock down to 70 from the 85 we had for that video we just did the other day and we no longer have royal palm turkeys, although we are trying to incubate some eggs under some chickens in our chicken coop. So we may still have some royal palm turkeys, but of course we have our blue slate turkeys. They may all be males, but we do have them and they're moved into the main flock right now, along with our meat turkeys, but they're not gonna hang around past Thanksgiving. And if you're asking why did we get rid of the turkeys, one, we were gonna have an issue when we had the royal palm turkeys and then we had the blue slate turkeys coming up and breeding and how we were gonna deal with that. And so it was just easier. And so at some point we had to make a choice of which breed we wanted to go with for a while since we didn't wanna to have to separate them out like we were. And so for now we chose the blue slate turkeys to try to grow with next. And so with the ducklings, we ended up getting two of the Muscovy ducklings from our friend and viewer, Eric, from Texas. And they're looking pretty dark. This one looks like a little bit of a, br a brown tint. This one looks a little darker, but he said he's got some blue or lavender Muscovies and some chocolate or brown Muscovies. So we'll see what color these guys turn out to be when they grow up. He did send us 11 eggs and we had only two hatch, which is a bummer because we definitely feel, we lost some eggs early on, like in the main coop, I think one or two might've gotten pecked or crushed. And the, the other ones, there's definitely been a majority of them that were fertile and grew to a certain size, but just didn't make it all the way. So that's a bummer. But at least out of the 11, we did get a pair. So thank you, Eric, for sending us those ducks. Now we just have to see if one of these chickens, because we have these broody hens that sat on them in here, and now they don't have eggs to sit on, will they take care of and raise these ducks? We'll find out. So we'll set up some food and water in here for them and we'll see if one of these chickens will take care of them. You wanna roll it? You wanna be rolled in it? No, I want somebody to push me. Okay, where do you want to start at? Oh, over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> Push it. Push me up. Thanks, Farm Alarm, for your bucket. 
We're putting it to good use in the garden. So I noticed the other day when we were in here cleaning out the chicken run that I have a cucumber that's ready to pick. It's probably past ready. It's huge. Come check this out. Look at that pickle. For that cucumber. It looks like a pickle, doesn't it? Are you going to turn it into a pickle? I don't know. It would be fun. I guess you could split it down and then just put that in the jar and we'll pickle it. What's on it? That's it. Just those two. Do his mommy? She's his mommy. She's the mommy. What do you think about the duckling? Is the duckling soft? Yeah. You like to hold ducklings? Yeah. yeah. Do you like babies? Yeah. Yeah. Put them over by the water. Mm -hmm. Put them over by the water.